I'm sure that many times when you have done AQL searches, either programmatically or just in here, let's do one for example, if we do select CRE event list, yeah, that one right there, from events, let me only get the first one, right? So I'm going to limit this to one and hit enter you get this multiple thing, right? Uh, and when you click on it, you actually get to see these nine custom rules that match this particular event, right? Okay. But I don't, you don't want to see that multiple thing. I want to see them listed here. And in this particular case, these are strings as we saw but the, we when you do the same thing with things that are integer you get the same multiple thing and you would rather have them a comma separated value list of all the things especially when you do this programmatically well for that the great mutas has created some custom extension so you know that in the video description of uh, all all my videos there's this link and when you go there there is this uh, new folder that has string value aggregator, integer value aggregator. I'll, I'll talk in a separate video about this cool cosine similarity one. Uh, and what you need to do to add them is just go into the admin tab, go into extension management as if this would have been something that you download from the app exchange. You click here add. I'm going to point to where that file is and I'm going to get uh, integer value aggregator and you click add and notice that it tells you this is unsupported on call support asking for this because they wouldn't know what this is all about I'm going to click install and pause the video until that complete and I'm going to do the same thing with the other function and one thing that you need to no, I noticed this recently, might be a bug or something, that sometimes the button is not quite ready. You click on it and it's not ready. Also the OK button. So give it two or three seconds and it will be ready. Pausing the video until this completes. That was quick. Oh, because that now, now is when the installation actually takes place. And now it's ready. So I have... have have installed integer value aggregator and stream value aggregator. Let's actually use them in combination now. So let's go back to our particular case. So when we get this CRE event list, this CRE event list is actually returns a list of integers which have the IDs of all those rules. Let me actually show you that in action. Let me actually invoke the integer value aggregator, I think it was called. Forgot to reload the page for the function to be selected. So let's actually start again. So I do, do the select. And uh, instead of going in with the CRE event list, I'm going to be calling the integer value aggregator. This is the new function that we imported that Mutas created. And in here I'm going to put the CRE event list. Because if you use if you use the other one, the string one, it's going to give you an error because this is going to be producing integer. We'll so we'll see it in a minute. From events and I'm going to take just the first one, limit one, right? So what we get are these integers, numbers, that, you, that I was referring to you about before. But you may say, well, Jose, that, that's not very readable because I would like to get the actual uh, names uh, for those. Well, you are quite right. And what you need to do is you need to use the, f the standard custom function called rule name actually rule name 
this one over here. Let me put this between additional set of parentheses. But now the problem you have is that rule name returns strings, not integer. Well, not a problem. Remember that Mutas created both. And I'm going to show you an example where you use that one also. So if we do now string value aggregator and you click search, what you get is nicely the names of all those rules. Remember, CRE even list returns integers, but rule name converts those integers into strings and instead of giving you multiple nine, now you get every one of them in comma separated value. This is very, very useful, not only when you are doing the searches in here, but I think more so when you are doing this programmatically. Let me show you a pure example of the string value aggregator function, custom function that Mutas created. If we make this search, this actually is going with this Russian URL, that Russian URL is always get uh, people's attention, but this is nothing malicious in here. You'll see what I'm what I'm doing here. Uh, if you invoke this call into the X Force, you are getting the categorization of this particular URL, and we are limited this to just one. When you click search, as I did, you get again that multiple thing. And why do you get multiple? There's actually click on it and see why we get multiple. Actually, I cannot even see those two categories in here, so this is a great example. I don't know, I, it's just telling me that, that there are two. But what I want to do is, is see what those are. So let me return here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this, I'm going to put it into the clipboard. Control X. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke that string value aggregator and I'm going to pass to that custom function the result of these two. Let's see if I get this right. When I hit enter I get the two categories in there which are that this motor RU in the X4 has matches two categories. Vehicle as we expected but also travel for some reason. But again, the importance of this is to show that these cool functions that Mutas wrote allows you to not have in the, those multiple things of uh, an integer or strings, but to have something far more readable.